All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 German Netflix sci-fi film called Paradise. Here is the plot. In the future, uh, a method of transferring years of one's life to another changes the world and turns Eon into a billion dollar company. To pay off her debts, Elena must pay 40 years of her life, robbing her and her husband of their future together. Here is the gas. Now I will admit this future world they built is a very fascinating concept idea for a future type film. Sadly realistic when it comes to a new type of pharmaceutical company that has a lot of control over the world, but way bigger level in this world of a film. The, the idea that they can age or de-age you by amount of years through a donor is insane to me. Kind of depressing film and also dark. I really felt bad for the wife. Also, I like her character story for the most of the film. The voice of reason while her husband was a stupid dick. But the film was uh, sluggish at best. The dubbing was so distracting, couldn't even analyze the actors acting. Very good quality looking film. Very nice shooting and directing choices from the director though. I appreciate that they use different aged actors to play the different ages of the same characters instead of using makeup or CGI the aging software. Look overall I thought the film was just okay more of a sci-fi drama with unlikable characters outside of the wife and stupid choices of course mostly from the husband. Uh, the story was slow and didn't drag me in unfortunately. Here's my rating I'll come back to my thoughts. I personally started to fall asleep during the film in spots. Luckily it was under two hours. I lost interest after 40 minutes unfortunately and but pushed through it as much as I could. Uh, again luckily it was under two hours. I think it was like an uh, hour and 45 minutes or something like that. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below you what your thoughts are. Um, I know a lot of us are starting to really get tired of these futuristic films. This one particular wasn't that special, I guess you could say. I mean, it had a special quality type of direction towards it, but it wasn't really, you know, fulfilled of, of something that was, what would you just call it, new, I used to say, of a, a new idea. Um, it was more grounded in the real world of what could be if everything went from gas and oil to electricity uh, and we let for some reason the pharmaceutical companies take over just because it's something that we can de-age ourselves um, with consequences of course um, if we do certain things because there's a whole other layers to this this thing of consequences that this kind of a uh, uh, what we call it a uh, I don't know what the word is but yeah you, you get my point but um, yeah so I will have something out hopefully Friday if anything maybe Thursday I don't know yet because I have some schedule lean stuff in the background so I don't know I have to check with someone but um Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Hit the bell icon. Most importantly, spread the love. Remember, I love you again. Skull.